talk about fundamental to the second building block of becoming emotionally intelligent. And that one is called self-regulation. So what does this mean, self-regulation? Basically means that we are able to understand what's going on in our own bodies and in our minds, and then being able to deal with that, to cope with that, to not have to constantly need somebody else to do it, but to regulate ourselves. So if you think about self-soothing, if you've had a child or when you were a child, parents used to use a dummy, um, I don't know what they call it in some countries, a soother, a pacifier, they would use that to soothe a baby. So sometimes babies would suck their thumbs or they would have like a little blanket or something that they could hold on to soothe themselves or a teddy, you know, having a teddy that would what would soothe them. It would make them feel comfortable. It would make them feel safe. Now, that is what self-regulation is all about, is being able to feel safe within your body and not to feel scared of your emotions. And I know that sometimes this is hard, right? Because your emotions have the ability to create all sorts of reactions in your body, all sorts. I mean, all this chemical, these chemical reactions happen. So let me let me give you an example. So say, for instance, you are scared. Maybe a dog is chasing you or and you want to get away from the dog because the dog scares you or you feel like you're you're going to get bitten or your life is in danger or whatever that case may be. When that happens, your brain sends chemicals to the rest of your body so that you can either fight or run away. Now, we also have a freeze response. Some people become so overwhelmed that they just freeze and they can't do anything. But most of us enter into a state of we're going to fight this enemy off or we're going to run away. So the brain goes, danger, danger, danger. And this message comes from the survival part of the brain. So remember, I mentioned before that we have different parts of the brain. We have the survival brain, the middle brain, the logical brain. And the survival brain is all about keeping you safe and keeping you alive. So it regulates your heart. It tells your body when to breathe. It tells your heart when to beat. It tells um, your, you know, your, your brain to release chemicals, um, to sleep, when to procreate. All of these things, they come from your survival part of the brain. So when you are scared of something, that part of the brain kicks in and it says, okay, I'm going to give you something to help you to fight or to run away. So it releases all this cortisone and this adrenaline. And what usually happens is it goes straight down to all your muscles and your limbs and it makes you feel stronger. That's why you can do these weird things when you're in a state of fear or, or when you've got a fright because all of those chemicals are giving you this extraordinary strength. Um, and then you also have hormones that are re released. So often, you know, testosterone gets released. Um, sometimes when we're scared of something, histamine gets released. You know, if we get bitten by something and, and the body reacts and it sends this chemical of this hormone, I didn't know histamine was a hormone until lately, it sends it to that place. And that's why you get your body swelling up um, where you have an itchy bite. So all of these things happen. And then what also happens is because your, your legs now need to be strong or your arms and your muscles need to be strong to run away or to fight, the blood is taken away from certain organs to go to those organs to give it more power. And that's why you'll also find that even when you know your heart starts beating like really, really fast because it's like I've got to pump the pump the blood to these extremities so because I've got to keep my human being safe. So that's what happens. And then you start breathing faster because your breath is now rapid because, so can you see what's happening? There's all these weird reactions. You might get sweaty palms. Um, you might become flushed because your brain is saying survive, survive, survive. And it sends you all these messages and all these chemicals. Now what happens is if you are not really in danger, but your interpretation that is going on here yeah, tells you that you are in danger. And how that often happens is that if we don't know um, what to do in a situation, if, if maybe a teacher has shouted us or a parent has shouted at us, somebody's hit us, um, 
your brain also goes into survival mode because it's like, why are you hurting my human? I need to keep my human safe. But because you don't know the solution, but your body doesn't know. So your body's still getting the reaction because the survival mechanism has been switched on. You feeling all of this stuff and you don't know what to do with it. And that's when we then have these extreme reactions. We then get anxiety. We have anxiety attacks. We have panic attacks. Um, we scream and shout. We often have rage. We start crying. We have all these crazy reactions going on because of the dump of chemicals that has been dumped into our bodies and because our brains are saying survive, survive, survive. So all these messages that you are getting. So self-regulation is all about understanding how to then soothe yourself without having a blankie like you did as a two-year-old or as a one-year-old, but how to soothe your body and to understand why you're having this reaction. Where did it come from? Why is your body reacting that way? Because obviously, you know, if it is a real dog that is chasing you, then that needs to happen, right? But if it's not, if it's because somebody said something to you that you didn't like or that upset you or because you saw something on the news, um, you know, I think we all know what it felt like when, when COVID was around. We all had those reactions, every single one of us. And that's why there's so much anxiety in the world today, because we were so scared. We were scared of dying. We all went into this overreactory um, state but nobody's told us how to actually self-regulate and soothe the mind and soothe the nervous system. So you can see how important it is to be able to self-regulate because when you're hijacked by those emotions and those thoughts and those chemical reactions, it can play havoc on your body, your life, and your relationships. So if you want to know a little bit more about how to deal with this and how to self-regulate, then please do follow the links be below. So that was fundamental number two. And in the next video, I'm going to explain to you about fundamental three of being emotionally intelligent. I'll see you then. Bye from me. Until later. Bye.